Fingerprint scanners are found on pretty much all mobile devices now and between them there's a lot of different types that all work slightly differently. So in today's video let's go over exactly what type of fingerprint scanners you can find on your mobile phone or pretty much any other mobile device you can get nowadays and also how exactly they work. Now one of the types you can find is the optical fingerprint scanner which is the most common one on smartphones. And the way it work is pretty simple, they just take an image of your fingerprint and then take an image of it again when you go to log into your device and compare the two. Naturally they can come in different resolutions like any camera, so to hide the resolution the more secure the device and less prone it is to errors. Because they're essentially just comparing images, if the resolution is low enough, they can actually be quite easy to fool with just a high quality picture of someone's thumb. Hence why some companies are now also trying to up the game and have some more sophisticated fingerprint scanners in them as well. For example, capacitive scanners. They were a lot more common back in the day, usually embedded into a button rather than underneath the screen itself. Now instead of just having an image of your fingerprint, these scanners essentially use an array of tiny capacitor circuits to collect data about how your fingerprint looks like. They can then compare the results of the initial scan and which capacitor circuits light up to that of any subsequent scans when you try to actually unlock your device. This makes them very secure, however because of how fine of a fingerprint image they can produce, they can be also pretty expensive. To save costs, some companies try to use swipe scanners to basically have a cheaper way of collecting data on your fingerprint without having those highly detailed capacitive scanners, which while costing less were kind of finicky. So people quickly moved away from that and to more easy to use methods that don't annoy consumers as much. Then there's also ultrasonic fingerprint scanners, one of the newest methods that began appearing around 2016, and now are standard in say the Galaxy S series for example. Consisting of an ultrasonic transmitter and receiver, an ultrasonic pulse is then sent against the finger once it's placed over the scanner. Then depending on the shape of your fingerprint, some of that pulse is bounced back, which is then received and used to calculate your exact fingerprint shape. Now while they were kind of slow at first, as the technology improved and Qualcomm released new versions of it, it has gotten much snappier to use, making it a much better experience for the consumer, and given how they can be just very easily hidden underneath a screen. Now while optical scanners can also be hidden underneath the screen, obviously you want that extra security in a more premium product. Speaking of security, how exactly is your fingerprint then handled on device? Well naturally it's all deeply encrypted to make sure it's all safely stored on a device to make sure that nothing happens with your fingerprint data. It is usually kept on a secure chip on a device, meaning that any malicious code that maybe makes your way onto your smartphone can't access it either to make it as secure as possible. But those are just the main types of fingerprint scanners and how they work and exactly how they're also handled on the device itself. So if you found this video interesting, maybe subscribe to How To Authority for more like this in the future.